let's take a look at how ChatGPT performs doing scheme programming assignments. So here I have a scheme assignment that I give in one of my classes. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to take each of these and just copy and paste them into ChatGPT. So we think for a little bit and we're getting an answer. So let's try the next one. And we see we get a result. And then finally, let's try problem number three. My assumption is that it'll still get the correct answer without this hint that's given. Yeah, and you can see it's the same result. Let's find out if these actually work. So now I'm going to open up Racket and copy these solutions into that window. So I'll move it over here first. So we have our decrement all, multiply list, and only rationals. I'll fix the formatting just to have it look a little nicer. And let's execute this and see how it compares to our sample results. And you can see that the results line up in every case. So it looks like it did this correctly. Now, the one fault that I would notice here is this is not a scheme procedure we've discussed yet when this assignment is given. So this actually wouldn't be accepted for this assignment because the intention is for you to use a different procedure for this assignment. Now, what if I say, okay, I know not to do this without using full Dell. Now here's an interesting thing. This actually used recursion, even though it says a non-recursive scheme procedure, but then it did give me this option using reduce and this looks like an acceptable answer so i'll put that here and i'll format it i'm going to comment this one out and we'll run it again just to verify but it looks like the version of scheme we're using doesn't use reduce now what i was looking for there was apply which does work and so by the time i actually knew that the answer was looking for apply on this assignment it would probably be easier just to write this from scratch. However, the other two chat GPT was able to get on a first try. So I would say that the result of this activity using chat GPT would net you about two thirds of the points because two thirds of these were correct. On one of them, it didn't use the appropriate technique that was intended for this activity, although it did give a correct answer. And then when we tried to filter that along, it gave a completely wrong answer because it's asked for non-recursive. It gave me a recursive solution the other non-recursive solution it gave gave something that wasn't valid for the version of scheme we're using. So again, it wasn't wrong, but it didn't know what the assignment was looking for. So that would be a risk that you would run into using ChatGPT. The main takeaway here is it's very good at giving a solution, but it doesn't have the understanding of what the assignment is actually asking for. So it may not give you a correct solution for a specific homework question, given the constraints of your course.